Hi and welcome to another jam video and today we're going to be carrying on our series of the Beatitudes and the, the Beatitude we're looking at today is thirst and hunger for righteousness. Now those of you that are regular attenders of jam, although it's been a long time since uh, March, our last session, we know that we're actually to start off with some news and I'm joined by Ben and Ellie again and have either of you got some news? If you have then come up here. Okay we'll go with uh, Ben first. Okay, what's sit down? Move up a bit. Okay, Ben, what's your news? I went to the co op and saw a homeless man. Oh, okay. And what did what's significant about that? What did you do? And I bought him some food with my own money because he wanted food, and I bought him a sandwich and some crisps. Ah, was he pleased to get that? I imagine a lot of people don't even acknowledge that he's there, they don't probably don't say anything to him. They probably, he probably thinks they're ignoring him. Yeah, he said thank you. Ah, oh, that's very good. And when this was uh, the other day, and so you saw someone who looked hungry and bought him some food. That's great. Well done, Ben. Okay, thank you very much. You sit down. And now it's going to use Ellie. Come on up. Okay, Ellie, what's your news then? Um, the other day I, was, I stole some sweeties. You stole um, some sweeties the from from oh from your kitchen at home. Yes. And what did you do? I took them upstairs and ate them in my bedroom. Oh dear. And what happened? Did mummy find out somehow? Yes. What happened? She came in and she could see all the sweeties and... Um, um, the wrappers? Yeah, on my, uh, on my bed. Oh no. So uh, did you have to... Did you have to... Did you have to own up to it then? Yes. Okay. Well, that's not very good, is it? Well, it's good that you end up, isn't it? Yes. Okay, that's great. Go and sit down then. Okay, thanks very much for those two news stories. So what we're now going to do is talk a little bit about what those Beatitudes mean. This week we're looking at the Beatitude found in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 6. And that says, Hunger and thirst for righteousness, they shall be filled. Now, when I think of hunger it's normally food I hunger for although last season I did hunger before lockdown I hungered to see Bournemouth win a Premier League football match I ended up starving they hardly won any and when I'm thirsty it's normally for a, a soft drink water or, or coke or squash hardly ever an alcoholic drink honestly hardly ever alcoholic and righteousness. Righteousness or righteous is, is a funny word. The first time I think I ever heard the word righteous, it was to do with a pop band of brothers in the 1960s. And in the 1960s, there were lots of brothers in pop groups. Uh, there was the Everly brothers, uh, Don and Phil Everly. There was the Isley brothers, O'Kelly, Rudolph and Ron. And there was the Righteous brothers, uh, Bill and Bob. To be honest, I don't think Bill and Bob Righteous was probably their real names. But righteousness actually means living in a way that is right or justifiable and therefore living the way that God wants us to. And that's not the way necessarily of the world. Sometimes we need to be strong and stand up for things. And often we need to make hard decisions. So righteousness and hard decisions. Let's think back to the start where we had two news stories, one from Ben and one from Ellie. Now, Ellie's story, let's look at that first. In it, she said that she stole some sweets. What she really meant was she took some sweets from her parents, took them up to her room, ate them when nobody was looking. And unfortunately for her, her mother found them. And then she had to own up that she had taken them without permission and eaten them. Now, that's giving in to temptation, isn't it? Most of us like sweets and chocolate. Now, if she hadn't given in to temptation, she wouldn't have stolen them and then there wouldn't have been the problem. It wasn't a very righteous thing to do. It might be that if she'd asked permission for the sweets, she would have been told, yeah, I have a couple, that's fine. But she didn't. So she gave in to her temptation and it certainly wasn't a very righteous thing to do. 
Then let's compare that to what Ben did. I've been to the car many times and there's often a homeless person sat outside. Sometimes I've engaged in conversation, given them things myself, and sometimes I've just ignored them. Uh, to be honest, a lot of the time, I've probably just ignored them. Again, that's not a very righteous thing to do. In that example that Ben gave, he said that he went and got some food for the person and the guy was really grateful. That was a real righteous thing to do and not necessarily a very easy thing to always do either. But we're told to hunger and thirst for righteousness in this week's Beatitude. And we need to remember that and always try and do what we think God wants us to do. It's not always easy. Sometimes it will be hard not taking the sweets, not always ignoring the homeless person that's outside a shop. It's not always going to be easy, but God tells us we need to hunger and thirst to do it. And then we will be filled. And being filled just means we will be blessed. So God will reward us for it. So that's it for the end of this week's look at a Beatitude. I'd just like to say a big thank you to Ellie for the uh, the great opening titles. And let's uh, until next time, let's pump up the jam. <laughs>